Hello everyone, welcome to this new video and today I'm going to be talking to you about media centres or specifically my media centre and everything that it comprises of. Now it comprises of a Raspberry Pi 2, a 3 terabyte portable hard drive, a remote control and a TV and that is basically it apart from all the wires but we'll get to those a bit later on so as you can see on the screen my Raspberry Pi 2 is running um, Kodi which used to be Xbox Media Center or XBMC now it uses Kodi by running another program called OpenELEC which is basically the same thing as Kodi so it's just it, it it kind of mixes the two, if you'd like. Open Elec just lets the Raspberry Pi 2 just be used as a media center and not you don't have to navigate to Kodi to open it to then use it as a media center, if you get what I mean. It just boots straight into being a media center and that's it. So, as you can see on the screen, that is on TV shows. I just switch on my remote. You can see it's, it's all done remotely. I haven't got any music set up on this one because uh, all my music is run off my PC upstairs but I think I will copy all over onto uh, a couple of thumb drives and stick them in the back of the Raspberry Pi so I can have uh, music down here too even though I could stream it but you know streaming tends to have its problems sometimes so anyway there's no music on there but I do have a fair old amount of TV shows if we go back up to the top. It starts off numbered first, of course, as these lists normally do on computers and whatnot. It starts off on the numbers and then goes from A through to Z or Z, uh, depending on where you are from. So, there are many different types. You could, you could set this up however you wanted, make it look however you wanted. That's called poster wrap. That is called fan art. Just have it so it's got the title. Three different versions of those. I don't know why. You've got wide, which it, which are more like banners. You could you, you could have you, so it looks like that instead. Now the the banner is I kind of like the banner, but I prefer to um, have mine on thumbnail. So there are my many TV shows. Just go through so you can see what there is. If you're interested in what TV shows I have, you can be uh, you can pause the video to read all these titles if you wish. It's kind of like having your own personal Netflix or whatever without actually having to pay for Netflix. So, there are a hundred items it says in the bottom corner. So that means I have a hundred different TV shows going on at the moment. So I'll just come back out of that. Now I won't go through all my movies because um, I've got over a thousand to go through. It says 815 items down at the bottom but it only counts sets as one item. A set is basically a film and any sequels it may have. So some films have up to, I don't know, like Fast and Furious say, there are seven of those but it only counts it as a set and that is one item. So even though it only says 815, they're actually well over a thousand titles because it's not counting all the sequels. But yeah, as you can see, there are many, 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 many films. And like I said, it does put films and its sequels in sets. So if you just see there, that's the Jurassic Park collection. Click on that and then it opens you up into all of them. Now 
that's right back to the beginning. Now you can search for if there's a particular specific, I don't think that's a word. If there's a particular or specific film you're actually wanting to watch, you can. Uh, there are different um, things you can search by. Like if you're in an action mood, or if you're in an animation mood, or you know, you can search for your different films in the different genre, as it were. Now, on a previous video, you may have seen the uh, the controller that I'd said that I use for my media center, and that is this, the Extrons Pro. Now, I'll put a link in the description to the review of this, because it is very cheap and it is very good. So, you know, go, go check that out if it's something that you might be interested in. Now, behind the TV is the Raspberry Pi and the hard drive itself. Um, I won't go moving the camera and checking out behind the TV. I'll just take some footage or some photos and then edit it in later. Um, I'll give you links to where you can get Raspberry Pis from. I'll give you a link to where you can get portable hard drives from, even though they're easily searchable. I'll just make it easy for you. All in all, it's the, it's the hard drive that's going to set you back the most. I think I, mine's three terabytes, and I think it was about eighty quid. But that was possibly about two and a half, maybe three years ago now. So um, you can probably get bigger for the same price, or you could get the same um, size memory for cheaper. Probably, I don't know. Check, look into it yourself. The Raspberry Pi came to about 35, 40 quid, including postage. And it just runs on um, a mobile phone charger, a micro USB mobile phone charger. Um, and it's got a micro SD card in there, just so it's got some memory to itself to run the programs from. Um, it's got the USB stick receiver for this in it. And it's also got the hard drive plugged into one of the USB. There are four USB ports, so I've currently got two free. If I want to use, if I want to put my music on there, I can either get another portable hard drive or use thumb drives. So it's probably going to take, I don't know, depending on what size thumb drive I get, I'll take one or two thumb drives to get all my music on there. Like, I don't know, I probably need about 80 gig. If I pick and choose what I want, get rid of some of the fluff. It's got four USB ports, which is pretty good for the, the, the tiny size of the actual Raspberry Pi itself. You buy it all separate. You buy the, the motherboard, as it were, and the case it comes in. And then you'll need your power supply, which, like I said, is just a, uh, a mobile phone charger. What else? If you want a wired internet connection you'll need um cable for that or i could get a wireless uh, dongle plug that into one of the usb ports and use it that way the raspberry pi is is a wonderful invention it was originally designed and still is used to get kids into um, coding and things like that but it's been used for all different kinds of um things these days like people are using them to use as what's called a retro pie which basically you can get like all the old video games like all your Mario's and Zelda's and what have you from your SNES's and your Mega Drive's and your Master Systems and your Game Boy's get all the ROMs for those stick them on a thumb drive whack it into your Raspberry Pi and you can basically use it as a retro games console just I think you can use um, you can even use a, a PS3 controller on it as well so you don't have to get used to any any shonky old um, third party controller. Just sync it, get a Bluetooth dongle in your old RetroPie, sync it up to your uh, 
your DualShock 3. And uh, away you go. So yeah, this is uh, my media centre. I, I absolutely, anybody who knows me knows I love films. And I love uh, certain TV shows. And who wants to be doing uh, DVDs and, and what have you these days? It takes too much room. I mean, I do still collect the Blu-ray if it's uh, if it's a, real, a film I really, really, really want to own a physical copy of. But I haven't got many and I'm going to be getting rid of all my DVDs because this is so much more convenient um, for my needs. You don't have to be getting up and searching through all your DVDs and picking a DVD and putting it in a DVD player and blah 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 blah, blah, blah change a disc every time you want to watch another film this is just quicker and simpler and easier you just pick a film press play and away you go So yeah, that, I'll stop that before we get into any actual footage, <laughs> don't want to get, get sued. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Raspberry Pi Media Centre. All in all, it's probably cost just over £100, which isn't a lot considering what it can do and how convenient it is. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, I hope I may have inspired some people uh, to do their own media centers or something else with a Raspberry Pi. I want to get the word out about Raspberry Pis because they're actually brilliant machines. Can do all kinds of different things. Look, look, look into it for yourself to see what if it can be applied to a project that you might want to do, whether it be a media center or a games console, something like that. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.